Hi, welcome back to another video and I'm good to see you again. Today we're going to start a new chapter which is electricity. It's quite a big chapter but I'm going to bring you through part by part and at the end of the series I'm sure you can do well. So first of all, when we think about electricity, all right, we often think about this thing, all right, the battery or the dry cell, okay, all right, and then you come in different sizes and most of it has a pimple on top and we kind of know that if we connect the battery to wires and if we connect to a light bulb, the light bulb can potentially light up, okay. So if I were to draw the setup, all right, so I draw my like battery, all right, connect to some wire and it's connected to a light bulb, okay, all right, and maybe even have a switch over here, you know, those with one little circular button, all right, connect it to a switch, okay, and if I press the switch up, down, all right, the light bulb will light up, okay, all right, so this is normally how we think that we draw electric circuits, okay, it's just like when you draw a smiley face, you can draw it like this, or you can like draw it like like this, okay, right, okay, but in physics, we have a language in drawing electric diagrams so that we have a consistent way of communicating with each other with drawing. So first of all, the dry cell, we don't draw it like that. The dry cell, we actually draw it like this, okay, we use two lines, a long line and a short line. These two lines at the side represents the wire. The long line actually represents the positive side, the short line, the negative side. So this is very different from the actual battery. So don't think that this pimple over here is the short line. No, the long line is the plus side. Okay. Next, light bulb. The light bulb, we use this symbol. We use a circle and like a pimple in the middle. All right. Then we join the wires. So this is a light bulb. Third, a switch. Okay, so again wire, the switch starts with a circle, up line, close. So this is an open switch. So when the switch is closed, it looks like this. Okay, alright. So these are some of the symbols that you have learned right now. So if I have to convert this drawing into an electric diagram, okay, a proper diagram, so it should look like this. So battery, so now the plus side is the long side. It connects to a light bulb. And then there is a switch. Okay, all right. So this is a proper diagram that you draw. Okay, so for wires, we like to draw them straight lines with corners, so that's nice and neat. Okay, next concept to go through is the concept of current. So what is current? Okay, we learn in static electricity about electric charge. Okay, so current is the flow of charge okay all right it is the rate of flow of electric charge charge is measured in coulombs and the symbol that we use is q current on the other hand is i okay all right so when we measure current we actually measure current against time okay so the formula for i is equals to q over t so how much charge move through a particular point in a unit per unit time. So current is measured in actually this new unit here, amperes, or in short is A. Charge is measured in coulombs. Time, SI unit is seconds. Okay, all right. So let me illustrate this with a work example. So let's have another setup. Battery, all right light bulb and let's omit the switch okay all right so we want to find out what is the current that's flowing through okay so they will give you some information for example they might say is that um, if 60 coulomb of charge pass through okay the bulb in one minute okay what is the current okay all right so in this case we apply the formula so i is equals to q over t current i is what we want to find so we leave it as i charge is given here 
60. All right, time is one minute. But what is the SI you need for time over here? Seconds. So we need to convert one minute into seconds. So actually, the answer is one. And what is the unit for current? Amperes. A. All right, so that is your final answer. Let's have another work example. So now, instead of having one dry cell, let's draw two. One after another. Okay, all right, so this is two dry cells together, back to back. Right, it's connected to a light bulb. Okay, light bulb, other than this pimple way, there's another way of drawing which is like X Men logo. All right, circle with an X inside. This is also a light bulb. So now we say it's connected to a switch. Okay, so is the switch open or closed? Yes, you're right, it's open. Okay, so maybe the question goes like when the switch is closed. Okay, all right. What is the charge that flows through the bulb in 10 seconds? Okay, so in order to answer this, they need to give you I. So let's say I say I is equal to 0 0.5 ampere. Okay, so what is the charge? So how do we use this? I is equals to Q over T. So now the unknown is Q. So Q is equals to I T. I is 0 0.5. And our time is 10 seconds. So the answer is 5. And what's the unit for charge? It is in Coulombs. Okay. All right. Okay. So that is how you apply the current formula. What is current? Current is actually the flow of charge or rate of flow of charge, which is Q over T, okay? And we have learned how to draw uh, common electric symbols, the dry cell, long line is plus, short line minus, light bulb, and other symbol is the X-Men logo, right? And then your switch, okay? So hope you get it. See you in the next video.